here. So let's have a look here. Now I'm going to write a program here. So let's sort a program. So let's say write and assembly language program to add n numbers say this is the program then I need to write a program for this so how do I write so basically you need to define the segments now so I will declare the segments at the end here so maybe number data byte as 10 20 10 h comma 20 h comma 30 h comma 40 h comma 50 h 60 70 80 90 and let's say another last number as say 0 0 h so this is the numbers that i have saved now i need to write a program to add this number so usually programs start from this location so i need to save the location where this number so LEASI comma number number so I will make it capital it looks uniform so LEASI comma number so this is a load effective address so so offset address of number I am loading the offset address of the number here then I look to move to or uh, suppose to load the count value since it is 10 number so cx should be 10 so 10 numbers to be added then where to save the result so let's save the result in ax result of addition so I'm find going to get the result of addition here so what next I need to do is I need to add the numbers now so here the higher byte will be saved in AH and lower byte of the result will be saved in AL that's a logic here so what I will do is I will add now so add AL comma SI. So adding number. So I'm going to add the number. So AL is initially 0 and it is added with the first location that is 10H content is taken here since SI represents the 10H number because starting address is that only. So that number is indirectly pointed and added with the AL. So this is added here and then I need to check for the result like uh, whether there is a carry or not I need to see. So if you if you have jump if no carry I can skip it but if there is a carry you need to add increment ah. So I need to update carry then skip comes here skip to the next number increment si and loop up so up goes here to add the number again so this is how it works so let's align it properly okay so that's it. So let me have a code here to end it as written. 
and so this is a simple program that will take care of adding the number so let's emulate this code and see how exactly it works so you can see that the numbers are 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 0 so if you keep adding probably supposed to get the answer so let's emulate it so let's see the the results here how exactly it executes so okay let's look at this once we will have a single step execution for this each number will be added one by one and you see these are the numbers to be added and you see these are the opcodes these are the registers and you're supposed to get the answer of this in the ax register c one by one if i take so i'm taking c's here cx is loaded with 10 means 0 a then again a single step so first number is added here it is adding the first number and checking for the carry there is no carry it will increment the si then it will go to loop it will go up again add the next number it is 30 now so 20 plus 10 is 30 and again it goes then it becomes 60 correct 30 plus 30 is 60 then again 60 plus 40 it is a0 correct now you see it will keep on adding till the last till it executes the return you see you supposed to keep adding and answer is updated loop again cx content is still 3 two more number is to be added so now see the last number is going to add now and this side yes the loop is done the answer is 0 to a0 so this is answer 0 to a0 is answer you can check in with the calculator adding this number will result 0 to a0 and here is the program so this is how it will add this is a addition of simple numbers so let me modify the code such that add 10 bcd number say if this is the case bcd if i want to add 10 bcd number then what modification i have to do it in the code program logic remains same there is no change in the logic the only thing is the number is to be adjusted to bcd what i need to do here after addition just add a da it will adjust it and again here increment ah i need not have to update it to da because my number field is not greater than this so that i get a, a number greater than 9 here it is not possible because 10 numbers only added so this carry will not be more than 2 or so because we are getting 0 2 no so even if, if it goes more than 9 then only you need to adjust it VA but not with the increment you need to go with add so let's see this one's program how it executes you can have a look here so earlier result so the change that I did in the code is this the change that I did in the code that is I have modified the code for 10 BCD numbers now let's add 10 BCD numbers and uh, this logic remains same only change I did is added a DA instruction here so DA instruction is added so that now it adjusts the results after addition to DA and then we'll check for a carry so after that this increment is done this is not taken care because my result won't execute uh, exceed more than 9 in the higher byte so i need not worry about this so this is a program let's emulate it so here is the code let's look at the results once now 
okay now you see the answer so according to me the number should be 10 plus 20 is 30 30 plus 30 is 60 60 plus 40 is 100 150 150 plus 60 is uh, 210 210 plus 70 is 280 280 plus 80 is 360 360 plus 90 is 450 450 plus 0 is 0 so so I need to get 450 as the answer just run this program I got it's 450 I think okay let's take it once I think I may be wrong somewhere so let's rerun this code again reload it let's take it triangle step I think uh, 10 plus 20 60 Sorry, load it. So thirty, sixty, hundred, one fifty, two hundred and ten, correct? Two eighty, correct? Two eighty. Okay, so so if it is a calculator and just check out what is the value for BCD. So it is a uh, Correct, so 30, 60, 100, 150, 150 plus 210, 210, 280, 280 plus 80 is 360, 360 plus 90, 450, I think, uh, let's see where the mistake is. So reload it again, let's take it single step again, so 10, correct, then 20, then 60, then A0 becomes 400, correct, 100, 150, 210, 210 is correct, 210 plus 70 is 280. plus 80 is 80. oh see the mistake mistake is uh, 80 H I have not given H there's a problem I need to give H otherwise it will be considering the hexadecimal so now this is H here so I think now it will come properly you can see so run the code finally your answer is 450 that's what expected so 450 is the answer of add bcd addition so this is how the bcd addition is done so so this is a simple programming that i'm just uh, giving it you so that you can get an idea how exactly 8086 program can be simulated so